what is going on everybody it is Halliford here and this is the first video that we have coming out for you today and it is going to be how to set up TSM trade skill master for jewel crafting the uh, the first thing you want to do is go download TSM and all of his ex all of its extensions and then once you get that booted up go into the game and you're gonna open up your jewel crafting uh, book basically you're gonna go over to TSM groups and at the bottom there you're gonna do create professions group you want to click it like four times because I'm kid you not it will not make it unless you click it multiple times um, if you're gonna be using this for multiple characters you're gonna want to go in here and click profiles and you're gonna create a new profile with the name of your character just to make it easier on yourself um, and then you're gonna want to go back out and you're gonna start off by going to groups you can see now that there's a jewel crafting group and then when you open it up it shows crafts and materials those are important we're gonna to get to those later but the first thing you're gonna to want to open up is crafts and then you're gonna see a management tab and it's gonna ask you to create a new subgroup name since we're gonna be doing gems I'm gonna call this one MOP gems um, because that's all that's important right now and then once you create that you're gonna to want to go into that and click items everything that you put into it right here is what TSM is gonna look for so you're gonna go through and you're just gonna add all the gems that you have if you just sort them by mat name like you see me doing here it's gonna get it done a lot quicker uh, so you want to go through and you're gonna add your rivers hearts your sun's radiance your imperial amethyst your vermilion onyxes um, you know your your primordial rubies your primals all that stuff everything that you want it to make and keep track of you're gonna add right here in the MOP gems part um, in in the items tab as soon as you lock all those down uh, you're gonna want to create some modular operations uh, as you can see I clicked operations at the top you need a crafting and an auctioning operation for auctioning you're gonna go in and click the operations tab and now you need to call it something just to keep things all in order I'm gonna call this one also MOP gems here this is how it, you're setting it up to post the gems for you okay you can see that you can change the duration that it's posting for so for me um, you know I like 12 hours uh, you know it, it's gonna cost me you know not a lot of gold to post um, and most of the gems will sell by then I'm gonna make a post cap of two so I'm gonna make um, I'm gonna have it post two two gems at a time um, my undercut amount is about two silver. It's a little bit more than the standard auction house uh, cut. So if I'm in a uh, undercutting war with somebody, it will automatically put me below theirs. For my minimum profit, I'm going to make it 110% crafting, just so I make all my money back um, for my materials, and then just a little bit extra. And then for minimum and maximum price, I just keep it at 700 gold. There's not a lot of situations that you're going to have to use those in. So next I'm going to make a crafting operations into the same thing as before. I'm going to use MOP gems. Okay, this is where it's going to be how many do you want to make. If it's going to be profitable, how many do you want to make? So like I said before, I was posting two at a time. And so here I'm going to make two. Um, my minimum profit is at least five gold. I want to make five gold on every gem that I sell. You can set this to whatever you want. But on my server, I see that this right here works the best. After that, I'm going to go back into the profiles um, and click on the operations tab that I have for MOP gems and click override and then use that new um, auctioning operation we just made. And then I'm going to do the same thing for crafting. Once that is done, you basically have everything set up. Um, all you need to do now is go to the auction house. Okay, as you can see here, we just got to the auction house, and I also have inscription, so I'm going to uncheck inscription just to make this faster. Um, and then in that TSM tab, I'm going to run a get all scan. And what this does is, is that everything that you added into your items book, it's going to scan for right now. And then compare it with those operations that you made, and see which ones are going to be profitable, um, or you know at least enough profitable to match the criteria that you set up. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to update depending on um, you know how many people have posted the things that you put or the things that you're looking for um, and just overall competition on the server and then as soon as this gets done you're gonna wanna run a slash reload the reload is gonna make everything run a lot smoother like you must run a reload 
because um, if not, you're going to spend forever trying to do a post scan. As you can see after my reload here, I'm going to be opening back up my jewel crafting book. I'm going to be going um, into TSM groups, and then I'm going to be clicking restock selected groups. And again, I have inscription, so I'm going to uncheck those. And then everything you see over here is everything that is profitable on my server. And then even down below, there is a um, materials list. Uh, so if you wanted to go to the auction house and just buy all the materials that you needed uh, to make everything that was going to make you money that day, there it is. And as you can see here, I just keep pressing uh, craft next, and it's just going to keep making two at a time like I set up um, for all the gems that I have in my bags. If it's green, it means that they're in your bags, and if it's orange... Um, it means that you are missing the required materials. Alright, as soon as you are done crafting, you are going to go back in, and you are going to go all the way over to the auctioning tab, and you're going to run a post auction. It's going to sit here and scan for a little bit. It's going to scan all the pages for everything that you have in your bags. Um, and then within a few seconds, you're going to see uh, you know, what it's decided to post. If it's in green, it'll say undercutting competition. And those are the things that are profitable. As you can see, since I have more than the gems I just made in my bags, um, there's also going to be these, these orange ones where you know, it's not profitable today, but you know, it could be another day. Uh, so always just hold on to those gems until they become more relevant. As you can see right here, now all you have to do is go back through and press that post button or make yourself a post macro. Um, if you check my bags right now, you see that it posted one out of the two I made um, and if you are looking for something that is going to post both because I like to keep you know one in my bags and one in the auction house uh, just in case because you see how quick one sold there I can just add it in um, right then and there and it kind of saves you a little bit of money but if you want to go back through and you know make two and post both of them in separate stacks you're going to go back in and go to the MOP gems auctioning operation and just change the post cap to two and then once you go back through and run another post, it'll post the additional ones from your bags. Alright, once you're done posting all your auctions, um, now it'll be time to do something called a cancel scan. It's going to go back through the auction house and see if anybody has undercut the auctions that you posted. So what you want to do is you want to go back to the posting tab and right next to it, it'll say cancel auction. So now it's going back through and scanning and if one person undercut you or even matched your price that you had yours posted for it's going to indicate that and tell you to cancel the auction and repost it as you can see here somebody undercut uh, one of mine so as soon as it's done scanning everything that I have posted it's gonna um, highlight that cancel button you see right there next to the skip button um, and then you're just gonna click on that and all those auctions that were undercut are gonna be canceled and sent to your mailbox Actually, that is it. So if any of you guys have any questions at all, please leave them down below. I'm always checking. Uh, also, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out a lot. And thanks for watching.